Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to another episode of our class. I am very much excited for today since Teacher Larni, a student of FL Vargas College, has completed his 80 hours practicum in our school. So as a highlight for this, he will deliver his final demonstration on his topic on the different culinary regions in the Philippines as an application to all his learnings and observation in the classroom setting. So with that, my dear students, I ask for your usual cooperation to him. Thank you, and may I now give the floor to Teacher Larry. Good morning, class. Kindly stand up for a prayer. Raymond, can you please lead the prayer? In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, good morning, class. Before you take your seat, kindly pick up those letters under your chair and kindly arrange your chair on a straight line. Let's settle down now and kindly take your seats. Okay, may I check the attendance first? Just say present when your name is called. Anarna Ezekiel, Eco Manuel Raymond, Miranda Rafael. Okay, class, I am glad everyone is present today. Just keep it up. So how are you, class? Wow, it's nice to know that everyone is okay. Okay, before we proceed to our next topic, may we have a recall first regarding our topic last meeting. Okay, can any one of you who can recall our topic last meeting? Yes, Raymond, you're raising your hand. Okay, very good. It's all about the culinary influences in the Philippines okay let's try to have a recap okay who influenced the use of tomatoes onions and garlic into the Philippine cuisine and of course during this time Filipinos are already or started uh, using the methods of cooking which is the sauteing yes Monique very good. I am glad you are still remember our topic class meeting. Okay class, let's proceed. But before anything else, are you familiar with the place or region where certain local dishes have been originated? Okay, so I'll be showing you a picture of uh, local dishes and you have to identify um, where this food came from and what is the name of this local dishes okay ready this is the picture number one there yes raymond you're raising your hand okay thank you any other guess what local dish is this yes rafael okay very good it's the pancit habhab, which is uh, famous in the place of Lukban Quezon. Okay, can any one of you identify what is the name of this local dishes? Or local dish, I should say. Yes, Jessica, you're raising your hand. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Can we have another um, volunteer, a student, who can identify this uh, local dish? Yes, Jason. Okay, very good. It's bat choy, which is um, commonly or famous in the place of Iloilo. Let's move on to the next picture. Okay. This one, oh, it looks yummy. Okay, any student can guess what is the name of this local dish? Okay, Ezekiel. Okay, thank you so much. Any other? Yes, Jason. Okay, very good. It's the Kuracha Kongata which is famous in Zamboanga. Okay, those pictures that I've shown you earlier 
is uh, connected with our topic for today, which is the regional cuisine in the Philippines. Okay. Okay, class. As you can see in this uh, visual aid, we have the three um, regional cuisine in the Philippines. And we have the Luzonis cuisine, the Cyan cuisine, and of course, the Mindanao cuisine. But of course, we have to discuss it first uh, one by one. And we will going to discuss first the Luzonis cuisine. As we all know that Philippines has a diverse cuisine because we have a different uh, location. Uh, particularly geographical location and then of course the products that is available to a certain location or to a certain region and its region have actually a uh, different uh, cuisine as this varies depending on the location itself okay for Luzonis cuisine um, we all know that for Ilocanos is the fund of using the Bagoong, the Isabella, and they are known naman for Pansit Kabagan, and for Cagayan, of course, particularly in Tugegarao City, uh, the Pansit Batil Patung naman, and the Carabao Milk Candy in the town of Alcala. We have also the Pangasinan, which is one of their a specialty is the kalasyao, puto kalasyao. It is made up of um, rice cake. Yes. And we have also the kapampangan uh, cuisine, uh, which is in Pampanga. And they're known to be the culinary center in the Philippines. And here naman sa Pampanga, uh, there's, uh, there is a lot of contributions in terms of uh, culinary, most especially in producing uh, native cook like tocino, longanisa, and sisi. Okay. So for the Visayan cuisine, we have also uh, bakolod, which is really famous of the local dish, which is the chicken in a sal. So, I think, every, uh, can I assume that everybody here in the class is um, fond of eating chicken in a sal? Okay. And, of course, uh, Iloilo, their, one of their specialty is the bachoy, which I've shown it uh, earlier. For Mindanawan cuisine, one of their famous dishes are... This satay, mm -hmm. it's actually an influence from Malaysia, I guess. Yes, it's Malaysia. And, of course, we have also the Pininyahang Manok, which is also a Tausug dish. And for uh, Mindanawan cuisine, uh, they are fond of uh, preparing a dish, which is a uh, non-pork, which, because every, or mostly or majority of the people living here are Muslims. Okay class, before we proceed with our activity for today, do you have any questions so far? Yes, Z. Okay, thank you so much for your question. Yes, uh, it's actually a uh, staple food uh, in the Philippines is actually rice. Yes, kumbaga ito yung pagkain na dapat hindi mawala sa hapagkainan ng mga Pilipino. And yes, like uh, what I've said, it's a staple food because um, kung mapapansin nyo kahit na ang dami nyo nang kinain for the whole day and kung wala pa rin kayong rice na kinain, parang gutom pa din kayo. Actually, each country... Uh, has different staple food um, like for example for Chinese their staple food is noodles like that and some other countries like uh, Vietnam Cambodia uh, their staple food also is 
rice just like the Philippines. Okay, so any other questions so far or any additional input that you could uh, share it to the class? Okay, let's move on. Okay, for your activity, um, the class will be divided into three groups and each group will discuss the local dishes found in their place or region and uh, from there you have to choose uh, at least five local dishes and you have to discuss in front of course with the class okay so i'll be giving you uh, 10 minutes to do it and then afterwards uh, each group will present their um, output in front of the class okay 10 minutes is up so, are you ready to present your output? May we have the group one first? Okay, very good. Can we have the group two? Okay, guys. Very good. How about the group three? Okay, very good. Thank you so much for that um, wonderful output. Uh, it really matters that um, we know the local dishes found in our places or region. Of course, uh, for us to share it also with the other regions. Okay. Okay, class. Um, the next thing we're going to do for today is a reflection or analysis on the lesson that we had just discussed earlier okay for this one um you have to reflect on this okay everybody can see it now okay you have to make an analysis or reflection on these um questions or topics and i'll be giving you seven minutes to do it okay you may now start okay time's up okay mr president can you collect uh, those papers and uh, i'll be checking those afterwards okay and then for your last activity or for your test or quiz for today you have to answer this okay for this, um, for your quiz, I'll be giving you 10 minutes to do it. Time is up. At the count of three, all papers are already in front. One, two, and three. Okay. We will be going to check this one. Okay. Who can answer number one? Question number one. Yes, Monique. Very good. How about question number two? Yes, Monina, you're raising your hand? Okay, very well. How about number three? Yes, Rafael. Very well. How about question number four? Jason? Okay, very good. And how about... Question number five, Ezekiel. Okay, very good. Okay, may I know what is the highest score? Perfect. Wow. Wow, congratulations. We have a lot of uh, students who perfect the quiz for today. Okay, can you collect, uh, Mr. President, can you collect those um, papers? So I can record it afterward. Okay, for your assignment class, uh, make sure to copy it. Okay. So you have to research on this. The street foods in the Philippines and the exotic dishes found in the Philippines. And we will go in to discuss it next meeting. Okay. So... Everyone already copied their assignments. Okay, thank you. I think that's all for today.
But before you leave the classroom, make sure to pick up those uh, pieces of letters under your chair. Okay, class dismissed. Wow, thank you very much my dear students for your very active participation and cooperation. And to teacher Larni for a job well done.